With me today is Rami Rahim, CEO of Juniper Networks. Uh, Rami, great for you to be here. Thank you, it's great to be here. So 5G is the next big thing for service providers. How do you see that playing out? Well, it's obviously going to be a big theme for the event, Mobile World Congress 2019. It is a, a huge, big new trend in our industry. I think 5G is going to offer some pretty compelling new benefits, whether it be around performance. You know, there's never been in the past, there isn't today, there will never be in the future a limit to the amount of capacity that people can, can consume on the network. And it is that next step function increase in performance, scale to billions of IoT devices, um, fiber-like reliability due to in, in advancements in antenna technology. Uh, so it's got a number of really compelling benefits that I think service providers are all latching onto. A lot of promise behind them. Uh, and in terms of deployments, what I see and hear from our big customers as I talk to them worldwide is there will be some initial deployments this year, but over the next couple of years, 2020 to 2022, is when we're going to see the real mass scale deployments happening worldwide. Coming to Juniper Networks, what is uh, Juniper Networks' role in 5G? Yes, yeah, so, you know, first and foremost, it's about performance. Um, service providers must think about how they're going to evolve their networks in order to um, deal with the increase in capacity that 5G will bring onto the network. And this is going to entail pretty significant enhancements to everything from the radio access networks to the access aggregation edge and into the core. And when it comes to performance, Juniper is a known and understood leader. It's not by uh, coincidence or by accident that we've helped to build out and to scale pretty much most of the large hyperscale networks out worldwide. And that capability, the technology that we bring to bear, the advancements and the enhancements we've made across our portfolio truly helps in dealing with that performance. Uh, second, I'd say is that 5G, really the services that 5G is going to bring to the scene, and this is really the, re the biggest promise of 5G, is the, the fact that it will usher in new services that will transform the service provider business model. Well, these services are going to be virtualized, they're going to be highly automated, they're going to be very much distributed, and we have brought to market uh, some new advance advancements in the orchestration and automation of these virtualized services from a telco cloud solution via our Contrail technology that's already deployed worldwide. Uh, so that would be another really important area. The last area I think is that's gonna be a big topic, uh, I think at the show uh, this week is gonna be around security, pervasive security. Uh, and the need here is a security architecture and solution that can keep up with the pace and scale that 5G promises without slowing it down. You know, 5G is obviously a, a, a pure IP technology. For that reason, service providers must uh, really keep in mind how they're going to secure users, the infrastructure, the data, so that they can offer the benefits without the risks inherent to um, you know, IP architectures. Makes sense. There's always challenges. Uh, what do you see as the number one challenge for your service provider customers? Well, service providers are really dealing um, with a bit of a perfect storm these days. They are having to deal with an increase in capacity and to build out and support that capacity in their networks with, um, you know, with limited capex by keeping their capex flat. Their businesses are being disrupted uh, in a number of different ways. And so the need for uh, achieving uh, new revenue streams, building out new service models, is gonna be super important, but again, under limited budgets. And what I see here um, is that pretty much all service providers have concluded that the answer in one way, shape, or form lies in reaping the benefits that a cloud architecture, cloud service delivery model brings to them. Now, fortunately for service providers, they're sitting on what we call beachfront property. They have these strategic locations distributed throughout the network that they can transform from legacy networking architectures to a cloud-based solution that helps them reap the efficiency and the agility benefits that cloud brings to bear, and we're helping them do that. Moving on, uh, Juniper Networks and Ericsson announced a deepened partnership last year. How is that going? It's going great. You know, we're proud to partner with such uh, an innovative powerhouse in the 5G space um, with Ericsson. Uh, and, you know, this is not a new partnership. Juniper and Ericsson have been really solid partners for many years now, so we know each other quite well.
But what this is, is a deepening of that partnership that cuts across both go-to-market as well as the engineering and product development. Um, we announced just um, last week that uh, we're seeing solid progress. Customers are seeing the value of the joint value proposition. Uh, in, uh, in fact, we've already together scored uh, upwards of 20 new service provider customers, many of them in the mobile space, many of them moving towards 5G. But I think it cuts deeper than that. We're also working closely with Ericsson to develop true end-to-end -end, uh, solutions that uh, provide really compelling benefits for everybody that's moving towards a 5G architecture from RAN to access and security. In fact, uh, we've announced um, certain solutions around node slicing that en enable our customers to use their networks far more efficiently with greater agility, as well as we've embedded security uh, throughout all of these end-to-end -end solutions that I know um, all of our customers care about deeply. And finally, what will Juniper show off at its booth this year? Yeah. So. Um, you know, our new vision, our North Star as a company, is, uh, is really around achieving simplicity. We believe that one of the biggest problems in our industry today is complexity, which has, quite frankly, bogged down our customers. It has reduced the ability to innovate. It has slowed them down. In, in some cases, it's just outright crippled companies out there. So the pursuit of simplicity is our new North Star as a company. Uh, and if you come to our booth, you will see a, a, a set of solutions. It's almost like a shrine for these demos and solutions that achieve simplicity um, for our service provider customers. Uh, and as an example would be the simplicity associated with delivering on the promise of a distributed telco cloud architecture with adaptive uh, automation, with embedded security throughout, in fact, even a solution that uh, enables our customers to fast path the approach of getting to a telco cloud by, off by having Juniper offering it as a service. Um, so that's, I think, what you're going to see at our, at our booth. I think beyond that, of course, are the hundreds of meetings that we're going to have with our valued customers and partners worldwide. I'm truly excited and looking forward to the event. It's going to be a great week. Rami, thanks for joining us. Thank you. I appreciate it.